Miles, I'm conflicted on this. On, on one this, hand, that's I like it. Well, I'm, I'm conflicted on many things, but specifically on this. On one hand, I like it when a football organization, football coach, whoever, acknowledges a mistake and tries to fix it. On the other hand, it was a pretty big mistake last year, and the Cowboys knew what they were getting into, changing up their defensive philosophy without the personnel necessary to implement it, hiring Mike Nolan to be the defensive coordinator when there were plenty of other capable candidates out there. Granted, Dan Quinn had another job last year. He couldn't be hired by the Cowboys to be the defensive coordinator. He was the head coach of the Falcons. But still, the fact that they are making such dramatic changes to – the defensive side of the ball after only one year of Mike McCarthy is an embarrassment to the organization. It's an embarrassment to McCarthy. It shouldn't have gone this poorly, this quickly, and it doesn't inspire a lot of confidence that it's magically going to get better. Well, I think that if you're going to say there is confidence that it will get better, it would have to be because of the guy that they hired to be the defensive coordinator. And granted, Dan Quinn's defenses in Atlanta were never really that great. I mean, even that team that went to the Super Bowl, that defense was ranked in the 20s with both uh, in terms of scoring and yardage. So and then only the year after that were both they ranked in the top 10 for both yardage and scoring in terms of defense. So you have to go back to 2013 and 2014 and say look what he did when he was just the defensive coordinator and what he did when he was just in charge of that defense to say yes i think dan quinn is a great defensive coordinator and he can come in and he can play that role but look i don't know that you can get much worse than what mike nolan was doing last year and the way that they try to transition that defense and frankly i feel like even when mike nolan was hired People had some trepidation as to what they thought Mike Nolan could really do with that defense, given the fact that he just had not necessarily been a very good defensive coordinator in a long time. Right. Am I making that up, Mike? Well, no. And and look, that's the thing. And when, when a coach is hired, sometimes it is a challenge to get the coordinators you really want. I don't know how much. And, and uh, this may, this answer may be out there. Mike McCarthy had a whole year where he created this little laboratory in Wisconsin where they were working and preparing. And I don't know if Nolan was his first choice as defensive coordinator for a full year or not. I may have known that at some point. If I did, I've forgotten the answer to that. But back to Dan Quinn. This is one of the dangers. And I like Dan Quinn. And he did a great job overall with the Falcons. But for the 28-3 collapse, he would have had a Super Bowl championship. But he's a defensive coordinator who came from a team that had a defensive system that has worked with multiple coordinators, and the head coach is a defensive mastermind. So now you've got Dan Quinn taking over the Dallas defense, working for a coach who isn't a defensive mastermind, as evidenced by last season. You delegate half of the ball, and I've never been a big fan of that, of delegating an entire half of the ball to a coordinator when you're the head coach. And I know that there's involvement, but a lot of these defensive coaches hand the keys to the offense to the coordinator. A lot of offensive coaches hand the keys to the defense to the defensive coordinator. So I have this image of Sean McVay, his first year with the Rams. He's sitting on top of a cooler, mapping out plays for the next offensive drive while Wade Phillips is running the team. So I, if you're going to do that, if you're going to delegate the defense to Dan Quinn, has he ever really been a defensive coordinator. You could argue he really hasn't been in the classic sense of being the guy who ran the defense for an offensive head coach. That gives me a little bit of pause. And again, the same people who made the decision that they would have said all sorts of optimistic and colorful, flowery things about last year and surely did. We could probably dig up the quotes about how good the defense was going to be and how Mike Nolan was going to come in and do this and do that. They got it wrong. How can we have faith that they're going to get it right this year when they got it so wrong last year? Well, I mean, it's mostly because you have no other choice, right? I mean, they're in the NFC East, so that's one thing that's working for them at the very least because you, you can at least look at, say, Washington, you know, Philadelphia, and the Giants and say, well, are those – three teams really going to have that much of explosive offenses and those are the two uh, those are the three teams that you have to play twice a year so I feel like if there's some optimism it would be because of that what division you're in 
Also because there are some pieces that are still very talented, or at least moderately talented, that are on that Dallas defense. Think of Lawrence. I mean, he's an edge rusher. He's been very good at times. Did not have the best season in 2020, but then again, nobody did on that defense. Van Der Esch, what kind of happened to him last year as well. He's somebody that if you get him back into form, and especially the way he looked as a rookie, then maybe you've really got something there. So I just feel like, yeah, I, I don't know that I trust what they're going to do either and that it's all going to work but at least they are in a position where they admitted their mistake they can clearly see that they made a mistake and now they're trying to rectify it and they're trying to get better again that's why i'm conflicted i give them credit for recognizing their mistake i don't give them credit for making such a horrendous mistake that went off the rails so quickly and obviously and let's face it miles the termination of Mike Nolan was a foregone conclusion. The question was, were they going to do it in October or maybe September? That's how bad it was right out of the gates. So they got it wrong. They're trying to get it right. But the same people who got it wrong are the ones who are making the decision this time around in an effort to get it right. And I don't know that McCarthy is on the hot seat. Jerry Jones doesn't like to admit that he has made mistakes in a significant and dramatic way. And even though he's got tons of money, he's not a big fan of paying buyouts. So I think McCarthy is safe no matter what. But at the same time, McCarthy's Super Bowl win from 2010 may as well be from 1910, given the way that his teams have played in recent years of his coaching career up to the point where he was fired by the Packers with a month left in the season and in 2020, his first year with the Dallas Cowboys. We'll see how it goes. Open mind, and we'll see. New defensive coordinator, and the proof will be in how many points the opponents score on a per-game basis. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.